Good morning. This is the Site Plan Review Committee meeting for December 18, 2018. Members present today are Police Chief James Guido, Code Consultant Pat DeMarco, myself, Frank Stringer, City Planner, Nick Reistrom, City Engineer, uh, and uh, uh, Mark Locke, Plumbing Inspector, Paul Agenda, DBW Superintendent, and Paul Cheevers, uh, Deputy Fire Chief. Okay. First item we'll take up is 30, 34 Tuttle Street. Yes, sir. Thank you. Building a two family house on vacant land. Okay. Yep. First of all, do you have a certified plot plan showing the existing developed lot and the vacant lot? So, this is the best copy I could kind of print out for you. The, uh, the original owners kind of sent me a, a photo of it. Uh, so, it's, it's kind of tough to read, but you can make it out. Um, okay. And I'm sure we could produce a better copy if need be. All right. So, that's held in common with the, uh, with the developed lot at 34 Tuttle? <coughs> yeah, to the right. If you're looking at it from the street, I believe. Oh, to the right. Okay. This one. So I think it was original. It's owned by. Here's it's another angle of it. Yes. Okay. It's owned by these people here. And do you know that is that a single or a two-family? That is a single family, I believe. Or it could be a two-family. I'm not sure, as a matter of fact. Well, it's important because this lot cannot be developed unless you meet the parking requirements for the <coughs> existing developed lot. Okay. So if it's a two-family, they need four parking spaces. So how many square feet is this lot? 4,500. And this is only 2,250. This is the proposed building? Yeah, that's proposed. Yeah, the about the other oh, okay. Yeah, so you, and if it's a single family, you need to provide two parking spaces on site. For, for what we plan to develop or for what this is? For what if this, this is, is a single family, we this need This has to, to conform with parking to allow this to be built, buildable. Okay. Um, since they're held in common ownership. I'm pretty sure it's a single family, but we'll have to verify that. Well, you have to look at that, and you have to provide two parking spaces on site, okay. 9 by 18 feet, as I mentioned, for each parking space. Mm -hmm. Now, you can park them in tandem, one behind the other. Okay. So if you have 9 by 36 feet, dry, 36 foot driveway on this side, you may be able to do it. All right. I, it does look like a driveway. Well, you'll have to provide us with a plan showing that they meet the parking. All right. So say that the parking requirements are satisfied for this house. Um, what about for this one? If it is satisfied, uh, then this can be uh, buildable as a two-family lot. Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, would there be, what would the parking requirements be for, for our two-family? Four spaces. Okay. Off street. Show them here, two on each side. Like that should be, you know, I think that's our plan anyway. So. Yeah. 15, 20, 10, and 5, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you have to certify that that... Uh, has uh, two parking spaces if it's a single family. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to need a certified plot plan. Yep. Definitely. Show them both properties. Yep. All right. No problem. We can do that. So, uh, so it looks good. Then. I also would say you should check the parking on the existing lot because it doesn't look like you really have two spots in there. Okay. So. Yeah. This is the uh, the left one. Yeah. This, so if you're looking at it on the street, this would be the house on the right. Yeah. We are. I see that maybe there's one spot there, but I don't know. But yeah, but seems like looks like the one I have seen that one too. But yeah, okay. you need for two spots, you need an area of nine by thirty-six for tandem. Gotcha. So, say if we find out that there's only one spot there, is there a provision where uh, we could make two with one parking spot? No, you would be denied. Okay. Frank, can they take five hundred square feet from the other lot? No, they can't reduce it. And it's already not performing a lot. They can't right. reduce it. More. Um, so I, I know some cities will do, they'll allow maybe for an extra fee to the town, um, they'll, they'll allow the, the developer a lot to have that the parking be on the street for like a fee, maybe $5,000 flat. You, yeah, you guys no, offer we don't like that? that. Okay. Okay. And um, so you were saying that no, couldn't grant any kind of a right of way in, into this lot for maybe a 9 by 18 on this side? All right, I'm sorry, yeah, 9 by 18 on this side. Say that this is only a 9 by 18 on this side. You could. It would be denied, I mean, if you wanted to subdivide that to create a, a 9 by 18 parking space there. Would we need to subdivide, or could that be sort of a, a right of way? No, no, no easements easement allowed. An easement? No. Okay. You have to be on the right. If you have a spot there, then that's going to take away from the 
it really be for the four, for the emails. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what if you did a single student with the right to say? Yeah. If it, it, that, that, would be, that would be the condition that you, don't, you could only put a single family on that one. Because you'd have to go for a variance. If, this, if the ZBA decided to approve it, that would be probably a condition that only be a single family. That would be tough. What if we did parking in the rear, like maybe a, no parking like a simple in the rear yard in that residential district? Okay. So he owned this lot, this guy? So yes, he does. He does own. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. maybe possibility can do something. Maybe with the... So possibly we could subdivide a portion to, to satisfy? Well, you can, we can discuss that, and it's going to be, it would be denied, and subject to the approval of the ZBA. So you have to go for a public hearing, mm -hmm. all the abutters will be notified based on their decision, which can't be guaranteed, so it's a, okay. it's a risk you would be taking. Which is probably up to them build the same field. Is it Frank? They have a vacant lot on Tuttle Street, but the existing developed lot, it doesn't look like they meet the, yeah. the parking spaces required. Yeah. Um, And the other yeah. thing is this lot is only 2,250 square feet. This one's by Yep. But they are two separate clubs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's, here's another question, actually. So we've got an easement right here from this property so that they can pull around with a vehicle. I don't know what this is here, but... On the other side? On the other side. So that's going to that's going to affect what you can do with the with the lot that you're trying to develop because you know if there is an easement there for them to access then you're not going to be able to do certain things on your lot to encroach that to hinder the easement. Okay. So, now I remember what you said. Driveway there and park cars if they if they yeah, have the right. You to can't park on that easement if you're looking using that as parking. Be able to park right. uh, yes, I understand yeah, that. There are a number of problems with this. So I remember also what you were saying about rear parking. If the spot went here, would that count as the rear parking that wouldn't be allowed? Say that they passed through this easement and then parked their vehicles here. Would that be allowable? Uh, so that still would be tough, though, because there wouldn't be enough room for a second space behind it. Yeah. So you have some issues. What do you think about garage parking underneath? Think we could do that? Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't even look at that. Right now, you have to certify that the existing developed lot has the parking. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that, that vacant lot is, is long qualified mm -hmm. as a building lot. You're going to want to check, check too, because it looks to the, the, the might possibly be that the existing house is encroaching into the empty lot. Yeah. So, um, you know, your survey will tell you if it does or not, and that's going to affect the ability yeah, of the lot. Mm -hmm. You're going to need a survey to establish both the, the, the lot lines relative to the structure as well as the uh, existing parking on the lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, so it looks like our biggest hurdle is finding out about the parking with the, uh, yeah, sure. the existing yeah. building. Yeah, you yeah. have some homework to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank Good you, gentlemen. Way. All right, thank you. Let's take all this. All right, that concludes our site plan review committee meeting for December 18th. Thank you so much. Thank you.